In this video we're going to be looking over this Olympus Trip AF50 35mm point and shoot film camera and while the primary purpose of this video is to demonstrate the specific condition of this one which I have for sale up online right now but also um, it's an opportunity for me to demonstrate all the features of this camera while trying it out and in the process showing you how they work and uh, maybe it'll help you if you find one of these out in the wild somewhere and you just need to assess its condition before making a buy decision. So let's get started here. What I have is a pair of AA batteries and a scrap roll of film and they're not included, they're just for our testing purposes here. First thing we're going to do is load the batteries. So there's a battery compartment right here on this end and if we look right here we can see there's a little plus right here and a little minus right there so we're going to install these batteries accordingly with the plus there and the minus right here and then we'll flip that shut and then we can see on the back here it has come up with the quartz date feature of the first day of January 1998 and now that's a long time ago. We're in the year 2024 when I'm shooting this. And uh, so what we're going to do is try to fix that to bring it up to modern times. And we'll see how long this calendar is good. Now strung on the strap of this camera is this little tool with the little point that makes it easier to hit these little points here, little buttons. So right here we're going to hit this select one and that makes the 98 start flashing and then we're going to just set that up you know here's 99 2000 so now we're moving up let's get up to current times here we're getting close 20 well lost there's 24 and then if we wanted to then we can select the the month here and we can just go off and you can see how that's going up select and select the date and then we can adjust that as well but since we're going to uh, just keep going with the year I want to see how long this feature is good for because lots of these cameras of uh, the calendar ended in the year after the year 2019 and that and so this one we know is good here this far let's see how far we can go well, we're up in the 2030s. and back to 98. So this camera will actually keep track of the correct date up through the year 2049, which is still a long time in the future. And then here you can set this mode like here. This is just shutting off the quartz date feature So it won't print the date on your pictures and I generally didn't like to have that so that's what I chose Now next thing to do is load the film and we do that by opening this little latch right here that pops the back open like this and before we load the film, let's just look at this. I see this camera has nice ridges here around the edges that match up with channels in the in the back door here so that there's not a need for the foam light seals that that turn to goo and make such a mess. The only foam I see is a little bit around this window that allows you to see the film canister through the back window and that foam feels nice to me. So let's take our scrap roll of film here and we've got that here and we're just going to drop that in like that and let the tail fall over into this area here. Oh, well that wasn't too smooth. And over here and make sure these sprockets are engaged right there. Close the back and now before we can start it we have to open, we have to turn the camera on flipping this little lever right here opens the lens and also turns it on and if we can see here there's a little tiny s in that window so now we have to advance the film forward a few 
frames just in order to get past the area of film that was exposed when we were loading it right here. So let's let's watch this and press this a few times. There, I see that moved. Now there's a one right in front of that uh, in the window. So it's moved enough film out here pulling out of the cartridge so that now there's a fresh unexposed area of film right there. So now we can, uh, can point this camera off at something and everything about this camera seems very automatic. It doesn't have many settings or options to do anything but let's just watch right here and here. The lens should move to focus and the flash should go off. I'm not seeing a lot happening in there. There I saw the lens move. And it kind of depends on it, uh, how bright the light is. If, if I shut this light off here, it should sure, for sure flash. And it did. So everything seems to be working well. There's very little that you can do with this camera. Uh, as far as settings, there's, there's no manual features. There's not even a self timer that I see. So uh, let's just keep finishing off the pictures that are on this short little roll. There, that came to the end. Now this camera does not automatically rewind for you. When you get to the end, what you have to do is go to the bottom here and there's this little slide switch. And if we pull that over to the side, now we hear the motor running. And we hear film running back through and we can see the film counter is counting backwards. And there I heard it break free and the motor stopped. So now we can open up the camera and there all the film has been rewound back into the housing. So if these were real pictures then we could take this and send this in for processing or process it ourselves if we do that. So the camera seems to be in good operable condition. I'm going to shut that off. I'm going to uninstall those batteries since those aren't included. That closes nicely. Cosmetically, let's just look it over. I see a little bit of wear right here. Otherwise, though, this camera is in quite nice condition cosmetically. Don't see many blemishes on it. The strap looks good and it has that little tool that's helpful in pressing those little buttons if you use that quartz state feature. And it comes with an Olympus camera case and that can go through there and if you want you can tuck the strap right through that slot right there and then there you have it like that. Case has a little bit of wear and tear on it. These these were, even though I would say this hasn't been used a lot, it's the materials used on these cases sometimes didn't withstand the test of time very well, but it's still certainly serviceable. It's padded and it will protect the camera. So, that is my look at this Olympus point-and-shoot film camera.